If your website serves its content to a multilingual audience that comes from several countries across the globe, you might benefit from showing your content in more than one language. One way to do that is to create a WordPress multi-site and set it up as a multilingual network of websites. In this video, you'll learn how to set up WordPress multi-site for multilingual sites. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. First, you need to create a multi-site network that will consist of the language-specific sites. If you have a website already, you can convert it into a multi-site by using some code. Before you proceed though, make sure you have a backup of your website. Also, disable all your plugins until you've completed the first step. Then, access your wp-config.php file using an FTP client like FileZilla. Open the file and add the following code at the bottom of the file just above the line that says, that's all, stop editing. Happy publishing. When you're done, save the file. And refresh your WordPress admin area. A new network setup option will appear under the Tools tab. After clicking it, you need to choose if you want to create your multi-site using subdomains or subdirectories. If you're working on a new WordPress installation, you can go for either one depending on your preferences. But you must use subdomains for an established site to prevent clashes between subdirectory addresses. Make your choice and provide the network title and admin email below. Click Install when you're done. You'll then get a set of instructions to follow, though these may slightly differ from what you're seeing on the screen. In our case, we need to copy and paste the given code in the wp-config.php file. After completing these steps, click Log In. And log into your WordPress admin area again. You'll now see a My Sites option in your sidebar and the toolbar which you can use to access the subsites in your network. Also, you can now enable the plugins that you had disabled before starting this process. Check out our video in the description to learn how plugins work in multi-site WordPress websites. If you're installing WordPress on a brand new domain, you can similarly convert it into a multi-site by editing the wp-config.php file. After enabling multi-site, you'll now configure each of the subsites. First, Hover over the My Sites button in the toolbar and head to the Sites section under the Network Admin tab. Here, we have the main website that existed before creating the multi-site. Click on Add New to create new subsites for various languages. Provide the basic subsite details like its URL, title, default language, and an admin email. Then, click Add Site. The multi-site has been created. Head to it using the toolbar at the top. Head to the General option under the Settings tab. Here, you need to localize the subsite to match its targeted demographic. We've set the language, but you can change it here. Make sure to set the time zone and the local time and date formats as well. When you're done, save the settings at the bottom. And repeat this process for all your subsites. You now need to export content from your primary site to your subsites. The easiest way to do it is to head to the Export option under the Tools tab. Here, make sure all content is selected, and click Download Export File. Then, go to a subsite where you need to add content. Head to the Import option under the Tools tab. Here, click the Install Now button under WordPress. Then, run the importer and choose the exported zip file on your computer. You can also use plugins like WP All Import and WP Import Export Lite to transfer content from the main site to the subsites. After transferring the content, you need to translate the content into various languages. You can do it in three ways. You can either manually translate the content line by line from your own knowledge or you can use tools like Google Translate to translate and paste the content in chunks. You can hire third-party professional translation services or freelance translators from platforms like Upwork and Fiverr. And you can use plugins like Translate WordPress with G Translate and Translate Press to automatically translate your pages using artificial intelligence. Now, your users will see your content in their language depending on their location. 
Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.